गुड डे स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू डिजिटल क्लासरूम एज वी ऑल नो देर आर थ्री स्टेट ऑफ वॉटर आइस इन अ सॉलिड स्टेट स्टीम इन अ गैशियस एंड वॉटर इन अ लिक्विड स्टेट सो इन आर सराउंडिंग वी सी मेनी सब्सटेंसेस सच एज वूड ऑइल स्मोक air etc all these substances occur in different states their properties are also different according to their state such as solid liquid and gaseous so student today we are going to start lesson number 5 substances in surrounding their states and properties i hope you must have textbook with you open your textbook page number 32 now let's know about change of state of substances to understand this let's do an activity take a piece of wax in a bowl and heat them on a candle or spirit lamp now observe the changes how do the piece of wax change the piece of wax changes due to heat provided on the bowl what was the initial state of wax the wax was in the solid state what did it get converted into due to heat it get converted into liquid state now keep the same bowl in cold water and observe what happens liquid state of wax will converted again into solid state of wax from this we can find out that when a substance changes from one state to another the process is called change of state of substance student look at the picture carefully what do you see in this picture you see spirit lamp ghee camphor and naphthalene balls now which one freeze in winter ghee will freeze in winter now student you must be having coconut oil bottle at your home have you ever observed that coconut oil also freezes in winter second which liquid have you seen change into vapor spirit if the lid of spirit is kept open it will change into vapor now girls you must be having nail polish remover at your home so have you ever seen if you keep the cap open the nail polish remover it become vanish which solid directly change into gaseous state naphthalene balls and camphor it gets evaporated so what you learn from this the state of substance changes if it is heated or cooled every substance in our surrounding is found in either the solid liquid or gaseous state in the past in the 19th century the scientist j willard gibbs showed that the characteristic properties of a substance depend on its physical state and the arrangement of particles in it now let's learn differences between state of substance as we know the three states of substance solid liquid and gaseous students now what you will do you will copy down this chart in your notebook now we will see one by one first we will see solid solid has a shape of its own which is retain now what do you mean by retain retain means continue to hold whereas solid has a definite volume form a heap now what are examples of solid metal pieces iron sugar wax etc are examples of solid second is liquids liquid does not have shape of its own it takes the shape of container liquid has a specific volume if it is kept in a container 
it occupies shapes of container but it is spread on flat surface it start flowing so what are examples of liquid water oil milk juice etc are examples of liquids whereas gaseous occupies all the available space as it does not have shape of its own it does not have fixed volume if kept under pressure in a closed container its volume changes most important example of gas is air now let's know about change of state observe the picture below we have already learned that change in a physical state of a substance is an effect of the amount of heat in it on gaining heat the substance changes from solid to liquid and liquid to gas on the other hand when the substance cools or loses heat it changes from gaseous to liquid and liquid to solid state now let's know about temperature and thermometer when a substance get heat it becomes warm and the hot we put our hand or finger in a water to judge how hot it is but that is not an accurate measure besides if the substance is very hot we could get burn a thermometer is used to measure temperature degree celsius is the unit of measuring temperature there are several types of thermometer available nowadays digital thermometer are frequently used the normal body temperature ranges from 36.5 to 37.5 degree celsius or 97.7 to 99.5 degree fahrenheit nowadays temperature gun is mostly found everywhere for checking of body temperature now let's know about boiling as we all know water evaporates continuously if water spill on the floor dries up slowly on its own when water kept on a stove attains a particular temperature or level of heat then evaporation takes place in all parts of the body of water we can see bubbles rising faster to the surface and steam mixing in the air this is called boiling of water at sea level pure water boils at 100 degree centigrade this is the boiling point of water now let's do one activity take a thermometer the bulb at its lower end is filled with mercury the mercury rises to a certain level you will see a scale next to the mercury column read the figure near level of the mercury and note the temperature of air around the bulb of the thermometer hold the thermometer in water so that the bulb is completely immersed in the water and read the temperature of water do this activity taking some hot water in one vessel and cold water or ice in another note the temperature condensation when water evaporates cools it converted into water again this process is known as condensation condensation of steam also takes place at 100 degree centigrade it means that the boiling point and condensation point of water are one and the same now student what you will do you will note down this definition of boiling condensation in your notebook now let's know about freezing the water kept in a freeze or an ice cream becomes cooler and cooler that is its temperature falls at certain temperature water 
does not get any cooler but start freezing and forms ice the temperature at which this happens is called the freezing point of water the temperature of substance can fall below 0 degree centigrade example the temperature of air in the freezer of refrigerator is around minus 18 degree centigrade now let's know about melting when ice get heat it starts melting or changing into liquid state ice melts at 0 degree centigrade it means that the freezing point and melting point of water are one and the same each substance has specific boiling point which is also its condensation point each substance has specific melting point which is same as its freezing point various uses of change in physical state first candles are made by melting paraffin wax second solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice is used to make ice cream and to keep it frozen third liquid nitrogen is used in animal husbandry fourth sand that is silica is melted to make glass fifth metals like gold and silver are melted to make ornaments sixth iron is melted to make tools so student in this video we have seen what are the three states of water then we have seen differences between states of substances we have seen what do you mean by thermometer boiling point condensation freezing and melting point now what you will do you will copy down these definitions in your notebook we will meet in next video thank you